you know? Abel's living his best life. It's gonna be a good day. Today we were heading out to drive tanks. Out about uh, three hours from me, where I live. And we are meeting some guy with some little wimpy truck that breaks all the time. We're meeting Whistling Diesel. Whistling Diesel has, I think it's a Chevy 25 or 3500 that he's turned into a monster truck. Giant tires, giant suspension. This thing's huge. It makes Abel not look so big. And we are going to do a little tug of war. Whistling Diesel is very confident that he has me. I'm very confident that I can take him. And we're gonna find out today. Also, that's Earl up in front of us. And while I'm confident I'm gonna beat him in a tug of war, I'm not confident that I'm gonna beat him and be able to drive home. Like, there's a decent chance we might break something today. We're gonna put this vibe to him through its paces. So we have Earl up there. Danger Dave's driving him. And that's just our just in case. We got a bunch of tools in Earl. It's loaded down. Earl is our recovery vehicle today. If we do break this 5 ton though, there's no bringing it home. Earl's not gonna tow him home. We're gonna have to get like an 18 wheeler to bring this thing home. So ideally that doesn't happen. We'll see. I pulled over to pee on the side of the road. That sheriff pulled up and I was like, oh no, I'm in trouble. And he goes, appreciate your content, bro. Thanks, dude, you're awesome. And just like that, we have arrived at the Ox Ranch, which is where Drive Tanks is located. Giddy up, partner. She made it, no problems uh, at all, except uh, loud and bumpy and obnoxious. I just realized I've never actually vlogged coming into Drive Tanks in the Ox Ranch, because this is the first off the ranch video we've ever made out here. Normally it's all pew pew stuff that I'm putting on Demolition Ranch. This video will have no pew pews in it. And so you're getting to see a kind of a different perspective, which is maybe cool, maybe not. Time will tell. Soon though, we'll see my adversary, my enemy, my biggest arch nemesis. I think those are called David's deer. Look at that guy rolling in the mud over there. <laughs> what is that? Is that a black buck? There was also a white buffalo back there. I missed it though. The white bison. It was a handsome guy. Alright, yeah, that truck looks kind of bigger in person. Jeez, it's big. I need to do something so he gets scared. Maybe I'll puff some. I just rolled some coal just to scare him a little bit. It's not even that big. It's just all show. Yeah, there aren't many trucks that make uh this truck looks so little. You can walk under the, almost. Almost can walk under this thing. You can do chin ups on it. Yeah, it's wild. Okay, how many times have you broken this thing? Every like, time like, re I've like it. really no, broken no it. I'm not joking. Well, really broken it like four probably. So he's found all the weak links so far. So my goal is to find another one today. <laughs> Hopefully. That's, that's the plan. God, like, we got a lot more hollow space under here. Yeah, yeah there is. But you said you weighed it at 19,000 pounds? Dude, yeah, and I, don't, I wouldn't have thought uh, that. I thought I had him in weight. So the way to win a tug of war is with traction or weight. I thought I had you in weight and I thought you had me in traction. I you had me in traction, but I didn't realize you don't have lockers or six by six, so. Yeah, oh you didn't know it wasn't a six by six? Well, I didn't think about it. Yeah. I just saw a five ton truck. It's so nice not being a six by six, except for tug of war. It'd be nice to have an extra set of wheels back there. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go line up, huh? Yeah. All right, giddy up. Look at that little guy. <laughs> that truck is bananas. Not feeling as confident anymore, Demolition. Not gonna lie. That truck is so giant. It doesn't even look real. I've seen all of his videos with that truck in it. And now seeing it in person, it's just so much bigger. And that's what everybody says about my truck. When they see this five ton, they're like, wow, it's so much bigger in person. And I'm like, yeah. But look at that thing. Yeah. Will he make it across the bridge? He's using rear steer to get around this thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Barely made it. Nice. He does float though, I think, with those tires. So he could have just gone straight across the water. He should probably be disqualified because he's too slow. We're talking about where the truck's gonna hook up. He's going right there at head level. I'm going about this level right here, which is gonna give him a bigger advantage because he's gonna be lifting the back of me up. Not 
repair. So I'm just getting my excuses in early. Also, we got a leopard tank out here because we may do a little tug of war against the leopard tank, assuming nothing breaks on the truck tug of war, which is assuming a lot. Okay, we're just gonna go drive a course first, warm everything up. Oh yeah. I didn't catch it on video or anything, it's cool. So while Whistling Diesel's working on his truck, I'm just gonna show you guys how green I am. Like don't let the, the smokestacks fool you. I'm very green. That is a solar panel that's going to my little battery over here that's charging all of my cameras. The drone battery, drone controller, GoPro charging right there. You can see we got 35 watts coming in from the panels, 75 watts going out to the batteries. Uh, this thing's still at 100% though, should start draining. But we're still making energy, free energy. I am so green. Okay. I'm gonna say this is gonna be very close. You think? Yeah, because they weigh about the same. They do weigh about the same. It's gonna come down to gearing. I got it in for, in low. He's snugging up the rope right now. Okay. He has so much traction. Like, look at those tires. It's bananas. Okay, we're gonna get some drones in the air, get the GoPros rolling, and we are going to do a tug of war. You get scared or what? I see y'all checking out over here. worried about your bumper coming off. Okay, ready? Are we ready? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna flip you. I'm just gonna roll it over. All right, we are going. So my plan is to lay on the brakes first, make him try to drag me, and then give it the goose. Here we go. All right, let's all the brakes. We haven't moved yet. That's our bumping.
definitely pulling down on the rear. Yeah, uh, you can tell right now. We didn't have any traction. Look at that. So I dug a little bit. You freaking dug a lot. Those things sunk. <laughs> well, I was hoping I'd dig a deep enough hole that you just wouldn't be able to pull me out. Of I definitely, I don't think I would. Well, I don't think like, if you weren't moving, I couldn't pull you. And if I wasn't moving, you couldn't pull me. The only time I was right. moving was when I was hopping. Right. Dude, that is pretty cool how, cut, how clean that cut is right there. That's so good. Okay, uh, I guess just to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Pavement? Yeah, okay. All right. It's yeah. Out there. I'm down. Okay, since that was so even, we're going to try it on pavement now, which I think I will have a little bit of a benefit over dirt because his tires are so wide. They're just grabbing so much dirt. Pavement, even though his tires are wide, mine still have a lot of tread that'll be touching the ground. His are made for dirt. Mine's made for dirt and pavement. I think I'll have a better shot on pavement than I did on dirt. Even the zebras are coming to check out the show. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm gonna break this monster truck. Okay, we're doing it. Whistling Diesel just said he's gonna try to break my truck. Now I'm gonna try to break his truck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right before we start. Unfortunately, old Abel lost. That is where my front wheel started. That's where my front wheels ended. And you can see I was skidding the whole time. Every time I started bouncing, I was trying to hit the brakes because bouncing is what will break this thing. And I wanted to give it a good go, but I didn't want to break it. And bouncing, when you're bouncing, it's not gonna get any traction. My truck was lifting off the ground and losing contact. So he won very decisively. This is where he started. He's skidding right here. And you can see where those tires were planting hard and just walking up the road there. He beat me fair and square. Fair and square, I'll give it to him. The man beat me. But can we give it up for Abel for not breaking? Everything, as far as I can tell, still works as it should. So small victory there. Uh, we're not going home on an 18-wheeler trailer. Thank goodness. Well, yeah, the day, the day is still young. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna show the next part. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you what's happening. Whistling Diesel versus the tank. I'm gonna let this not be on my channel. This will only be on his channel, so go check out Whistling Diesel versus the Drive Tank's Leopard over here. And, um, yeah, I hope he makes it. Not, I hope he breaks, I hope he breaks. I ho hopefully he breaks in half. What? It's gonna be good. Link description to his video. It's probably gonna be awesome. I'm gonna ride with him actually, but before we do, look at these air horns. Abel needs air horns. I mean, I have two air horns, but this is just bananas. Look at that craziness. Okay, I'm jumping on board. I'm not gonna show you guys what happened. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it's done. Um, I'll just give you a hint on what happened. Hey, what? where'd that come from? I brought it as a spare in case I broke my... <laughs> Parse probably yeah, it made... Got, it got spit out. It was out. made in China or something. It got yeah. spit out. <laughs> while we were pulling. It's no good, man. I would I would have probably left that in the truck if yeah. I were you. It needs that to run. Oh, oh we're friends. Oh, nuts. oh! Yeah, that's the cutest thing. Ow, ow, you're being too rough. She's like, yeah, they're too salty. Whoa, you're so soft. It's like a donkey. Is she full grown? Mm -hmm. This is no, full, she's grown. full grown. She's so little. She's gonna get real fat here. <laughs> this is such an easy going kangaroo. Mm. I'm taking you home. Hi. Oh, wow. Hey. 
sometimes we can feed this guy when he's in a good mood. That's a guy? That's a guy. That's a big old guy. That's a big boy. Oh God, hey, don't, don't kill me. <laughs> Hello. Man, if he wanted to kill me, he could kill me so easily right now. Oh God. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, bud. He'll just go in there with his tongue. Oh, he did it. You can do it out of your hand, too. Oh, I don't want that. I'm scared. I'm already too scared. <laughs> he's in a good mood today. He normally doesn't do that. So he's actually taller than he looks right now because I'm sitting on the top of a Jeep right now. Whoa! Whoa! Where'd you come from? Long neck. Oh, oh they're gonna right fight. The they're gonna fight for sure. Give me 30 bucks, I'll jump on his back. Alright, deal. Oh, dude, I've got 30 bucks right now. You're on, sucker. <laughs> Bye! Love you! So pretty. This is uh, their hilltop house up here. Sorry for the wind. And this is the view. This is all Ox Ranch, all around here. Uh, drive tanks is right there. That's where we do all our tank videos, but all of this is Ox Ranch. 18,000 acres. We're gonna stay here for the next couple of days. Not sure if we're gonna do another vlog or if we're gonna have all Jimbo Ranch videos, but be sure to check back uh, on both channels. We'll have some cool stuff. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare. <laughs>